Hey guys, welcome to another Game Tech Super Sham video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make most versions of Internet Explorer 9, 10, 11, pretty much, uh, way faster. And uh, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is open up Internet Explorer here. And once you've done this, uh, I prefer it, you know, it's easier if it's in the desktop version instead of the metro version. But if you don't know how to do this, there will be an annotation um, to my other video which shows how to do this, to switch between metro and desktop. So once you have it in the desktop version, what we're going to do is click on the uh, settings icon, the tools icon in the top right. Click on manage add-ons. And you'll come up with this window here, or a pretty similar window, if you're on a different version. I'm on IE11 right now. Um, I don't have that many add-ons, but if you do, then that's a problem, and it's going to be making it pretty uh, slow, your browser. So the slower um, add-ons are going to be the ones that have a lot of low, like high load time. So, like, 0 0.06 seconds isn't that bad. I wouldn't mind keeping that there. But one whole second can make a difference. It's not, it doesn't seem like much, but it will be if you're frustrated and you're about to smack your computer. So, just click on it, enable it, or disable it. In this case, it's already disabled, because I realized how slow it was making my browser. Once you do this, and it doesn't matter you know, how many are there, as long as you disable the ones that aren't you know, vital, but they're still clogging up your time, go ahead and do it. Click, click Close, and the next part's going to be a little bit tricky, so I'll go slow. What you want to do is hold the Windows button and press R at the same time. That pretty much opens up uh, Run, which would be pretty common, you know, pretty common uh, thing here. And go ahead and type up Regedit. I'm probably not saying it right, but it's R E G E D I T. Click OK. This might come up. It might not come up. You could just click on Yes if it does. And here you have a bunch of random things. And what we need to do here, this looks daunting, but expand the H key current user folder. We'll show up uh, this thing here. And uh, go ahead and click on software. Expand it. Don't click on it. You can click on it, but don't. Um, once you're in software, go to the M's, expand to Microsoft, go down pretty much all the way until you see Windows. Expand Windows, and you'll come up with this huge thing and once you're here you only have like six options so now you just click uh, expand current version and we're almost done guys I promise and this time you click on internet settings because this is a folder we want to be in once you're in internet settings it's pretty easy but now what you want to do is right click and then click on uh, new of course uh, D word 32 bit value Okay, and here you type in max connection, all one word so far, per one underscore zero server. Click enter. Okay. And the reason it's saying it's telling me this is because I already have it there. So, for example, now, modify and. Oh my gosh. A minute here. So, new. Sorry about that, guys. D word. And then, uh, max connections per one underscore zero server. Okay, once you do this, uh, go ahead and press enter. And now you have this here, right? This, so let me explain what I'm doing here. It's really similar to what I did with Firefox. If you saw that video, it's, it's pretty much the exact same thing, just a different you know, user interface. Uh, what we're doing is, we're allowing the browser to send more requests for the various information so that there will be more requests and the website will send more information to you quicker to your computer and so each website will load quicker and we did this on Firefox too if you saw that video so in like Internet Explorer 7 and 8 the maximum amount is 2 and then in 9 I think it went up to 6 but with Internet Explorer 10 and 11 it's sort of unlimited. So go ahead and double click on this, the max connection thing you just created. And right where it says base, instead of hexadecimal, click on decimal. If it's already on decimal, then that's okay. It doesn't matter. And the value data, 
instead of zero, change it to ten. Click on OK, and you're done. This is it. So what we did was we said that it, you know ten is the value of how many connections Internet Explorer can ask for when it's loading a website instead of the default, which I think it's six. So this will make websites loading pretty pretty fast. Should make them very fast. Go ahead and close out of uh, Registry Editor now. And you can go ahead and close out of Internet Explorer as well. And uh, go ahead and restart your computer. To go in here, restart your computer. Once you reboot it and you use Internet Explorer, I promise you, Internet Explorer, whether it's 10, 9, maybe even not, 11, 10, 11, or maybe even 9, will be significantly faster. And so, yeah, guys, that's this quick video on how to make Internet Explorer uh, significantly faster. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. I would appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you guys liked this video, if you liked it. And um, if you want to see more of these videos, if you like the videos I do, be sure to support me by subscribing to this channel. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.